Of course, you know, portraying Cam and Mitchell as loving parents with all their foibles and all their mistakes, but, you know, a loving couple and loving parents, that is, even for 2012, you know, a statement. I, I would imagine that it, it's your roles as parents, especially on the show, that generates a lot of feedback. Probably. Well, I definitely probably. look forward to the day when this is not a revolutionary couple. I'm, I think that should be... But I, I, I do, I, I mean, I'm so grateful that, uh, first of all, I have a partner in Eric who's, who's so careful and, and, and meticulous with his character, but also that we have writers who, who treat them with so much respect and dignity and put them in the same circumstances that they would uh, any of the other couples on the show. And um, we're just lucky to be playing these characters. And what, you know, we acknowledge that they are sort of pop culture touchstones at this point, and there's a lot circulating in the, the civil rights movement with, with you know, uh, marriage equality, and we're happy that they're sort of front and center. But at the same time, Eric always reminds people, you know, we're, we're here, and I, I agree with him, that we're, we're here to make a comedy. We're here to make people laugh. And sometimes through laughter, you can make big messages and big statements, but that's never, that's never our um, goal. We find people all the time, especially some of the areas that I go to because of where I'm from and my interests. Jesse doesn't go to NASCAR races with me, for example. <laughs> um, so, but you know, I, I'm, I'm, on, I'm in a different environment than sometimes Jesse is on, in, with a different audience, if you will. And there's nothing more gratifying when I am in a place like that and I have a guy carrying a giant tire or a tank of gas at a NASCAR event and goes, my wife and I love your show, man. <laughs> like, man, where do you get those shirts? <laughs> and it's like, I love those shirts. And my wife, she's always trying to dress me like Cam. I'm like, hey, man, I love Cam. All right, you know. So we're, we're you know, we're opening people's minds and hearts, no doubt, to realize that, uh, you don't have to be a man and a woman to give a baby a proper, healthy, happy, loving home. Uh, <laughs> but that's not, our, that's not the show's agenda. Our, the agenda is to make people laugh. Mm -hmm. And through laughter comes change, I firmly believe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, Steve, you've said that you were surprised actually, I think you've said in the past that you've surprised actually at the relative lack of sort of organized protest about how could ABC put this on the air, that you were a little bit bracing for more of a potential backlash from certain quarters of the Yeah, country. or that, that it wouldn't, it, that certain people would not even give it a chance. Mm -hmm. So you would say, no, I'm, that's, not, that's not for me. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the greatest stories we hear, you know, by far are the stories from, uh, you know, gay teens, who say they could not in a million, they would never have talked to their parents. Their parents were very, you know, there was, it was not a good environment for, for that. And, and their parents would, they'd watch the show with their parents and the parents would start, would fall in love with Cam and Mitchell. And because of that, they were able to talk to their parents and they were able to tell them. And, and their parents accepted them. And we've gotten a ton of letters like that. And, and, when, and that's the most amazing. And when Jesse, when Jesse and I are at events, I think he and I both on multiple nights in the same night have had kids come up to us and say, you made it easier to come out to my parents. I mean, that's, there's no better compliment that you can get. You never think of those things when taking on a role on a comedy. Uh, and one, one that stands out to me, it was at the Out 100 party, a kid came up to me and he said, um, hey, I just wanna tell you that, you know, I had the courage to finally tell my mom that I'm gay and her response was, well, are you Mitch or Cam? What do you mean? Who was Oh, he was, he was more Cam. <laughs> <laughs> and I could tell. 